black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey yo, what up world? What's good with y'all? Back with another one. I mean, I get cravings. I do get subway cravings, and today's just one of those days. I had to go down, so I got a nice treat wrapped up in this sheet uh, with an S on its chest. Not for Superman, for Subway, okay? But sometimes Subway makes me feel like a Superman. Uh, we also got some extra crunchy chips on deck. I splurged, I got two bags, salt and Vinnies, and then I saw these honey Dijons, and I just I had to do it to myself, okay? Uh, I'm gonna unravel a mystery. That's a song lyric of some sort from somewhere. I'll see you there. I'm building a mystery. I think that's what it was. So that's the old perfect unravel flex. And that did come out perfectly unraveled. She gets saucy. All right, now to crack a pack. Salt and Vinny's on deck. Honey Dijon, double on deck. So I am starving. I have not eaten today. I'm very turbo excited about this. Uh, I went with the intention of getting a ch chicken teriyaki. And uh, at Subway, I noticed there was this other chicken that looked way more real. Because let's be honest, that chicken teriyaki chicken, that was like strips. Sometimes get a little, little dicey, you know what I mean? So... Uh, there was this like more like actual pulled breast looking chicken that they're using for this like smoky bacon thing that I wasn't feeling. So I got them to do that chicken with cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, cucumber, green pepper, banana peppers, my all time favorite, just quintessential. I always get these toppings pretty much except for certain subs call for taking some out and adding some other things. But uh, for the most part, that's what I really always get. Chipotle, uh, Southwest, ranch, and sweet onion dressing, and then herb and cheese bread toasted. Before we do anything more, we must pour. And today, I don't have the original cup because they're all in the dishwasher. And we do need to keep our cups clean around here. So we have this Masonic jar, Illuminati Mason, free masonry jar. Back with the doctor, Diet Dr. P. Very funny on my videos lately. I, sorry not sorry, because Doc P is like the most legitimate soda on the face of the planet. So like, I'm happy that I've gotten people like mildly addicted to it, but I've been getting a lot of comments from people being like, you've turned me into a Dr. P fiend. You've turned me into a, a, a Dr. P hound. Like I'm always craving the doctor now because of you. It's your fucking fault and I'm, you know, on one hand, I'm like, okay, I'm sorry. But like, on the other hand, I'm like, fountain of youth. I'm like, you know, we're out here, Bellagio styles. It's the best pop on the planet. <laughs> so we must. Have our inaugural tasting for anybody who's wondering I did that face as a joke a bunch of videos ago and it's just like that like snooty like fine wine connoisseur like when rich people are like at wine tastings that's what the whole joke is I like the joke okay so here we go. Sub's looking pretty good. We'll have to have an interior interior examination at some point. That sounds very kind of disgusting, but uh, I'm a sub doctor and I need to see what's going on inside of this thing. You know what I mean? I love it when it's extra saucy. Inside, we're looking pretty good. Although, I will say this. Not seen a whole lot of chicken yet.
got to have a bite and a chip mashup, of course. Definitely eating crotch drops, things that drop out near your crotch. But I'm a, uh, see what I mean about this? Okay, I actually just want to show you guys this chicken. Because this is, this is rare at Subway. It's real. Like, look at that. That is real chicken. Which is a rare, rare find. So I told that guy behind the counter, I was like, yeah, man. Let's definitely go with that chicken. These honey Dijons. It's a top chip in my world. It's a nice little uh, orange tint to it. Very, very good. Mm. You know that chip? is doing the most and speaking its mind to me when salt and vinegars are my favorite. And those are running a show right now. The sub is so good right now. The old stretchy bite eyes. Mm. So good. I just got a huge, creamy, cheesy bite pocket. I feel like that's definitely one thing with Subway is... There's so much going on. Vegetable sauce-wise. at least in my sub-constructions, that the cheese quite literally just gets lost in the sauce. And they use like, those little thin triangles. I just feel like it's not very substantial. So at this juncture in the meal, I'm actually disappointed in myself that I didn't bring more sauce. So please bear with me for a brief cut, literally a two second, 0.1 second cut to from these messages from Hidden Valley Ranch. Welcome back to Hidden Valley Ranch and our sponsor for today's video. Kidding, I wish, but I do got the mega bottle and I'm gonna go full throttle on said bottle. I also got a hell of a good, I found that in the fridge. The name of it really does say, say it all. It is hell of a good. To me, it's the best dip out there that I've found. In recent years. Wow. Tell me 
tell me why that's working so good with these honey Dijons. I don't know, but it is. Okay, so some of you might know, a lot of you might may know, and actually some of you have seen me there, but um, I've worked for the Blue Jays slinging beers for a long, long time. And, uh, you know, I feel like over the years I have some, some BJ tales, Blue Jay tales. I have other BJ tales too, but different kind. Um, and I want to actually tell you one today. So let's get surgical on the second half because I feel as if it's disrespectful, not at some point during your sub experience, to at least potato chip six inches out of the 12. You know, I was doing those potato chip bites here and there, but I do think if you really want to respect the sandwich, love the sandwich, be the sandwich, become the sandwich. There's really only one place to take it, and that is into the crunchy chip realm of love and appreciation. Not death, love and appreciation. So, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna love and appreciate this crunchy ass sando. And for further love and appreciation, we're gonna be a psycho ranch human. And do it just like that, okay? Oh yeah. That's a bite. that is how it's really really done how it's really supposed to be I believe so I'll just share with you a quick story about working at the Blue Jays games. I have many. But we're on the back half of the situation here, so. Basically, um, I've clearly been obsessed with food and YouTubing and things to do with food and YouTubing for a good long while. And so... Before I even started YouTube, I used to watch a lot of food YouTube stuff. One of whom, food YouTuber, was Furious Pete. And he's like, you know, I guess relatively famous in the YouTube space. Like, quite famous. And he's very, like, intense, ex exciting, outgoing. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is. And so one day, I was in the aisle going about my day slinging these beers for way overpriced money highway robbery money but that's the house they make that money I just make tips and uh, in the aisle there's like the aisle seat right It's a busy day. And uh, I was selling to somebody like right here and then some from behind me at a point I feel like a tug or a tap or whatever. Because that happens constantly in the ballpark. 
people are savages when humans want beer they don't care that you're selling to somebody else they are like on your shit you get yelled at tugged at pulled in directions it's wild I'm cool with it though that's the nature of the ballpark it's a wild crazy place don't go to a baseball game like being a little bitch about it it's like be ready to go into like madness on some days when they're winning when the game's important the energy's high you're gonna get spilled on trampled over yelled at heckled all the shit so anyways I get tugged on my shirt I turn around it's Furious Pete he needs beers so I'm a fan of dude at the time I'm like, whoa, crazy. Um, this is like in his peak success too. This is when he was like probably doing his best. Really on top of his YouTube game. And uh, he's with a couple of his boys and his and his girl. No. And so I didn't really fanboy out. Because I don't act like that. When I see like famous people, but I was a little bit like, oh, yo, no way, Furious Pete. Like, yo, what's up, man? Like, I watch your channel and shit. And dude was. not friendly not engaging not appreciative not not like a not like a oh thanks like didn't really engage or talk to me at all it's basically brushed me off and tip like shit I was bummed. I was just like, damn. That did not go how I, as I would have expected to. You're not the same guy in real life as you are in front of the camera. And you're pretty wealthy, I think, too, because he was doing well on YouTube. In a time when YouTube was, like, plentiful. This was pre-adpocalypse. -ad So, that was a bummer to me. And basically, I guess, I'll say two things. I kind of get where, you, where he was at in his head a bit, because sometimes it's like you're just not expecting someone to like recognize you. And when it throws you off, you just, you don't really know how to react. So on one hand, I was like, I was like mildly understanding. But at that point, he was like YouTube famous enough that his, 
the frequency and occurrence of that happening to him was probably pretty high. Whereas in my experience, it's like, you know, I had like, you know, 35,000 subscribers, 40,000 subscribers. And every once in a while I would get recognized and I would try my best to be like very, you know, engaging and, and, and say what, say what's up and say thank you. But there's, there has been times where it's just like, whoa, like you just not expecting it. And it's just, you kind of stumble on your words, but he was more than stumble on his words. He was just like outright seemingly like kind of a dick. I just seemed very unappreciative. So that's just a light little ballpark tale. I have many, but yeah, I just want to mention that, that cause I remembered it the other day that, that I met like a YouTuber that I kind of like was down with. And then they just completely shattered the image I had of them. Cause they're so different for the camera, which is, uh, why I try to be exactly who the fuck I am on, on camera and not like all put on and extra and fake and loud and shit. Cause like if you do reach a bunch of success and then in the future you, you meet a lot of people who watch you, it's just like, I don't, it's, it doesn't seem sustainable for your life to like be putting on airs all the time. Cause then when you do meet your fans, people are going to be like, what the fuck? Who is this guy? So that's why I've always tried to maintain like my realness too. Cause I feel like if this was ever to translate into real life, it's just, this is who I am. Do you know what I mean? So it wouldn't be hard for me to maintain my, my, my personality position in real life. Cause it's just, like what you see is what you get. Anyways, <laughs> that was fucking so banging. Once again, like I just, I always hear Subway catching mad flack and every time I eat it, I'm just like, I really liked it. Like I really enjoyed it. Okay. Hope you did too. Till the next one. Eat good. Live well. Stay true.